If you ever heard anyone sing a beautifully sustained note on a really closed vowel, please send it to me because I don't think it exists. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but... And I... <laughs> Sounds terrible, right? What if we did... And I... I... Instead, doesn't that sound a whole lot better? Yeah, that is why diphthongs are very important. Hey singers, it's Lara from Box Tape Studios, an online studio where we help singers make singing feel effortless so that singing can finally feel good and sound good. A diphthong is when you have two vowel sounds in one syllable. For example, the word I, ah, e. You have two vowel sounds, ah and e, in one syllable, I. Me, me is what? Me, that's just e, that's just one, right? So that's not a diphthong. So whenever we're holding and sustaining notes, we almost always, like 99.9999999% of the time, we want to hold the note on the first vowel sound because the first vowel sound is almost always more open than the second one, right? So when I sing, and I, I, and I, I'm not, and I, no, and I, I. Now the I, E, I, that's a stylistic tool that Miss Whitney Houston is using right there. But the I, I is open. So we're holding the note on the first vowel sound. This is so important. And most of the time people get it right. But every so often in songs, in certain songs, people don't get it right. So we need to keep it open. Again, unless it is a stylistic tool, for example, ah, ooh, tonight from Rent, right? It goes ah, ooh, tonight, not ah, tonight, right there. It was a stylistic tool. So again, unless you're doing it on purpose, we should always sustain notes on an open vowel sound, which is the first vowel sound in a diphthong, okay? So to practice this, don't worry, I've got an exercise for you. I used the song, I Will Survive, as a little inspiration for this exercise. Let's have a look at how it goes. I will survive. So hear how it's survive and not survive, All right? That would be a stylistic choice, but we're practicing our diphthongs here. Ah, I will, and then I will, I will survive. Lots of ah openness, okay? And stay alive. It's the same thing there. Stay alive, and not alive, right? Keep it open. Try to hurt me with goodbye. You think I'd lay down and die? I'll survive. So it's the same thing here. Everything is nice and open. It's pretty self-explanatory, but we really got to keep everything nice and open and make sure you're not starting to like push, right? Survive, survive. Keep it nice and open. We don't want tension to start creeping in here, okay? Now, even with the shorter notes, like try to hurt me with goodbye and I'll try to hurt me with goodbye. I know, like when you dissect it, it's like, ugh obvious. Like, why would I sing die, try to hurt me with goodbye, and I try to hurt me with goodbye? Why would you do that? That makes no sense. I know, when you dissect it like that, it's obvious. <laughs> but again, every so often it creeps in and you don't notice it, and you're like, why does this not sound right? It's because of the diphthongs. And here's the thing, in singing, it's all about awareness, because once you are aware of what it is that you're doing, or what, if it, what it is that you're not doing, that you should be doing, whatever it is, that's when you see an immense progress. So right now, if you've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos and you're like, why am I not making as much progress as I hoped I would? It's probably because you're not quite aware enough just yet and you're doing the wrong things for your voice, which, hey, it happens to everybody, especially if you have no experience in vocal training whatsoever, it happens to everybody. 
but I have a solution to this problem. In the description below, I have a link to my vocal persona quiz, which you just answer a couple questions and it spits out your vocal persona. No, not your voice type, like soprano, tenor, all that stuff, because guess what? That stuff doesn't matter as a contemporary singer. It spits out your vocal persona, which helps you understand your tendencies as a singer better so that you can start doing the right exercises for your voice. And as you know, a little gift for you when you take the vocal persona quiz, you actually get a personalized training and warm up track as well for totally free. So please check it out. The link is in the description below. But for now, let's actually go ahead and do the exercise together. Remember, keep it nice and open for as long as you can, and only come in with that second vowel sound at the very end of the note. Now hold it open and close. Good. And open and close. Very nice. All right, nice. How did it go? Were you able to keep it nice and open without actually adding all of this tension, without pushing too much? Right, we want to keep it nice and open and controlled and no tension creeping in whatsoever. Diphthongs are absolutely crucial to sustaining notes beautifully and open like some of your favorite singers like maybe Adele right or Whitney Houston or any of those big you know singers that are um, that that have these beautiful sustained notes they all use this technique so if you want to have big open beautifully sustained notes you gotta be careful with your diphthongs so please whenever you're singing a song and you have sustained notes check out your diphthongs and make sure you're holding which one of the vowels? The first one, right? The first vowel sound and then only add the second vowel sound, which is a more closed vowel sound at the end of the note, unless when? It is a stylistic choice. Yeah, you got it, I love it. If you need extra help with this, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one private session with me through the link below in the description box. I'd love to help you one-on-one -on -one in a private session over Zoom. I hope to see you there. But for now, thank you so much for singing with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this exercise. Leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed because I have a ton of these pop song exercises that are super, super helpful in helping you take your voice to that next level. You can check out some of these exercises right here.